Imagine the rich aromatic flavors of a steaming bowl of pho fused into a mouthwatering crispy smash burger. Stick around because today I'm going to show you how to make one of the best things I have eaten in my entire life, the pho dakbiet smash burger. to the channel, I'm Geronimo, and I'm a professional chef and product designer in the San Francisco Bay Area. All right, let's kick things off with this dry pho seasoning mix, the heart and soul of this epic burger. You've got a bunch of aromatic spices here, including onion, star anise, ginger, fennel seed, cinnamon, and clove, and so much more. Today, I'm keeping things simple by using my friend and mentor chef to David Fu's pho seasoning mix, which, let me tell you, is a game changer. I'll link some options for the pho seasoning mix online, or you can make it yourself. I'll provide a recipe down below in the description if you're up for that DIY challenge. With our spice game on point, let's dive into our pho aioli. This saucy sauce will give our burger a nice creamy pho flavor. For this aioli, we'll pop one large room temperature egg, one tablespoon of lime juice, and a teaspoon of fish sauce for that umami punch right into the blender. Give it a good blend, and now it's time to emulsify by slowly adding one cup of neutral oil while blending. Sprinkle in about one tablespoon of our pho seasoning mix, Keep blending for another 10 to 15 seconds, and there you have it. The pho aioli is ready to shine. Store this in an airtight container or squeeze bottle until it's showtime. Next up, we're going to give our buns a nice toasty toast. Now you'll need one squishy Martin's potato bun or a brioche bun like I have here. Here's the pro tip. We're gonna brush these buns with some delicious melted ghee butter for an extra layer of flavor. Place them on a preheated grill at medium high heat and let them toast just until they get those dreamy golden brown edges. Boom, look at that. Perfectly toasted buns ready for our epic pho smash burger assembly. All right, now that our buns are nice and toasty, let's bring on the beef. We're using four ounces of ground beef, and the key here is to have at least 20% fat to give us that beautiful crust and flavor. You can use ground chuck, but today I'm using grass-fed beef by Creamco, which has a nice and clean beefy flavor. Separate the beef into two two ounce beef balls. Now we're going to slap these bad boys onto the griddle or cast iron preheated on high and get ready for the most satisfying part, smashing. Smash them as thin as you can with a smasher or metal spatula as we want that crispy crust created through that Maillard reaction. Season it up with a sprinkle of kosher salt, let them get nice and browned on one side before the big flip. When ready, scrape under the patties to get all that good crust and flip to sear the other side. Last but not least, crown each patty with a slice of white American cheese and watch it melt into gooey perfection. And then repeat for a second time if you've got a small cast iron like me. Stack the patties on top of the bottom bun and let's get ready to assemble. All the components are ready and now it's time to build the pho doc biet smash burger of our dreams. Start by layering on some sliced onion on top of the patties. Add some Thai basil leaves, sprigs of cilantro, and thinly sliced jalapenos for that aromatic touch. Layer on a handful of alfalfa sprouts, and then squeeze some lime juice on the sprouts for some added brightness. Now sprinkle on a little bit of that pho seasoning mix for that pho real flavor. Lastly, drizzle a nice squiggle of that pho aioli all over the sprouts. Now crown this beauty with our toasty top bun. Press down slightly and boom, you've just built yourself a pho doc biet smash burger. Crispy patties, squishy toasted buns, and the aromatic flavors of pho. I can't wait any longer, let's dig in. All right, friends, I can't wait to eat this burger. This is literally one of the best things I have ever eaten. And I'm so grateful that I know how to make it at home. But first, take a look at this burger. So there's no proper way to eat this. It's a burger, you just gotta dig in. And I like to smash my burger down a little bit so I can actually bite into it. And here we go, bon appetit. Mmm. Let's shoot. I need a napkin. <laughs> wow. This burger is so delicious. It has so many fresh flavors, just like a real pho. All the veggies in this burger bring a nice brightness and earthiness, and it's really great to balance out kind of the heavy protein from the beef and the cheese. And you can really taste the pho flavors from the spices and the herbs and the aromatics are very reminiscent of pho. So it, it genuinely tastes like pho, which blows my mind. I'm gonna take another bite because it's so delicious. Mm. Wow, this is so good. 
This is crazy. The beef is nice and crispy from that Maillard reaction. And because I use grass-fed beef, it's a, it's a nice beefy flavor. And yeah, honestly, this is one of the best things I've eaten in my entire life. So I'm excited to share this with you so you can try, which is probably gonna be the best burger of your life. So I wanna give a big shout out to Smish Mash for introducing me to this burger and also helping me work on the line, cooking for them and learning how to cook some of their burgers, which have been some of the best burgers I've ever had. So thank you Smish Mash, thank you Chef Vic and Amy, and I'll see you on the line soon. Mmm, <sighs> oh my gosh, <laughs> so good dude. What are you waiting for? Go and make this burger right now. If you like this video, you're gonna love this video here where I show you how to make another fusion of comfort food flavors, chicken sisig tacos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.